weird thing is, is you basically you can't <laughs> You're not gonna. So this is a this is a rattan quickie. Okay. Uh, that we've quickie one the single seat version. Okay. That we've modified uh, to carry these jet engines to test for PBS. Who's PBS? PBS is a company in Czechoslovakia. They make small RC airplane engines. Oh, okay. And then they make that uh, turboprop that was on the cover of Kit Planes a few years ago or a few months ago. If you saw that. So that was actually why they approached us. They wanted us to put a turboprop on Wasabi. And I didn't know anything about the company, so I said this was a low risk way we could get to know the company and go over there. So what are those engines from? They're, uh, They're kind of we have not cool. flown yet. I always like the canopy. It's a uh, PBS TJ40. Uh, so it's an expanded version of an RC right motor. The company's motor hoping to get into the drone market with it. I don't know. So this is the first two of those engines that have been built, and these will be the first two manned flight, those ones uh, right there. first manned flight of those engines. So that's, we did this program in a month. Uh, so we started with the engine in the front, you see the hole. The engines were in the front, we did our plywood so we could change the incidents, we could move them in and out. And then the plywood, when the engine sets the plywood on fire, it will have structure for longer. <laughs> that's you, not the actual, obviously, not the structure you <laughs> No, that's the structure we'll use, but the most important thing is, this, we're, we don't know, but we can't get them there right for now. CG? Well, for CG, for everything. But in order to have them that far out, for it, I need to be confident I have enough rudder. I don't know that I have enough rudder. I don't know how much drag this airplane needs. I don't know if the brakes are strong enough. Did you I don't know if the, without the this airplane's never been flown before. Right, so the big trick right now is what can we do to get the engines installed so we can go find out if it's an airplane. Okay, it's an airplane. Now we start talking about where's the best place to put them out. We're sensitive to, uh, to any sort of turbulence. You heard about these things flying in the rain, uncontrolled pitch down right into the dirt. So you really don't want to touch the canard. So if I was going to put the engines up here, I would either extend them off the wing, which looks stupid, right? Or extend them off the nose like we had done. Once you extend them off the nose, it starts to look like another wing, right? So now you're moving another wing forward. What's that going to do, right? So this is all about low risk to get us flying so we can answer the next question, right? And that's what the whole the whole organization is about. We so, just want to ask so, stupid questions and answer them. So, so why not in the back? Uh, CG. The old engine weighs 75 pounds and it's no longer on the airplane. So right now we have a bunch of ballast in the nose. So the closer I can get the engines forward, the better. That's why we started with them. You can't move the driver, the pilot forward. Uh, I can barely like move my pinky toe. When I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> the Mido does not want us taxiing it anywhere near the runway until we're all done with all the airworthiness stuff. So we just got the airworthiness stuff on Tuesday, and it's been blown more than this oh, for yeah. the last five days. Yeah, you're right. So for me, the taxi test is the whole game, right? Yeah. That's when we're going to find out if this thing's going to work. Well, you're going to find out if you have enough tail for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully. So my my plan is. Set power, hopefully not full power, and I'm not going to touch the motors till I can make it back to the runway. Because if one of those motors quits, I have no idea if I have enough rudder to keep the other one on. So we're probably going to end up, if one quits, you just shut the other one down and land where you land. So that wood's strong enough? And, uh, it's all good so far. But we'll see. I think if it, sh if it comes apart, with me Doesn't sitting right there, I won't have to hear about it. <laughs> the way you just moved it, I think it Yeah, that's really, really high vibration. frequency for this airplane. See how low frequency the rest of the airplane is? That's, that's a super, are you super planning, small uh, commercial and flights to the moon yet? Right? Any day now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pretty excited. I'm sure you've seen the avian. Goes into a cool down sequence, brings it back down just under 200 degrees, and then they shut off. <laughs> no, no, that was 20% thrust. So just enough that it'll roll. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Elliot Sigwin. I'm with Wasabi Air Racing. Uh, this is our project Twerp, which is a highly modified quickie. So we basically took a stock quickie airframe and installed two turbojet engines. The turbojet engines were built by PBS, which is a Czechoslovakian company. The engine's called a TJ40. It's about 85 pounds of thrust per side, burning about 14 gallons per hour. Works out to about five times the thrust of the stock configuration and about 10 times the fuel flow. So the initial uh, fuel tank is a seven gallon tank with the old engine that's two gallons an hour. That's a long, air, long range airplane. With this airplane, seven gallons, 14 gallons per hour per side, it's like five minutes of fuel, eight, eight minutes of fuel, something like that. As a result, we added a nose tank. There's 12 gallons in the nose, eight gallons in the tail, which uh, assuming that we can uh, move gas fast enough to keep the airplane in balance will allow us to fly for maybe two hours. But uh, the big problem here is it's an experimental turbojet airplane, which is very hard to get legal in the United States. So as a result, uh, we pushed real hard for the last month. So about a month this we've been working on this project and we're now airworthy as of Tuesday of last week uh, with the FAA. Uh, with the airworthiness came the description of what I need to do as a pilot in order to get qualified. The description was I needed to get uh, instruction from a qualified pilot in type. So I went in the phone book and I looked for uh, guys with turbojet quickie time and uh, came up with zero. So right now we're trying to figure out the way to get qualified in the airplane. Should be sometime next week. Now that you've had a successful test, what's your next step? Uh, next step is low speed and high speed taxi. So uh, quickie is not known for its ground handling qualities to start with. Uh, without a spinning propeller and therefore a blown tail, uh, it's likely to be even worse than the stock configuration. So we're trying to uh, dip our toes in the water, expand the envelope slowly, and do it as safely as we can. But at Wasabi Air Racing, uh, that's what we do. Design, build, and test, badass shit, see if we can make it work. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>